Growing up, I never had grand plans to run for office, but I was raised to know the importance of service in my community. My family's been in Florida for nearly 200 years, and as we raise the eighth generation, it falls on us to ensure that Ava has a bright future filled with opportunity. Running for office was about a choice. I could sit idly by and shake my fist at the television screen, or I could get out there and I could fight for what I knew was right and just. Years ago, in my first big speech, I stood on the stage at Jermaine Arena and said to you, I don't believe that conservatism is dead. So many folks were running into the arms of big government. The political elite told me that I was wrong, that being a conservative was a dead end road. And then just two years later, the people pushed back. People like myself that believe in the principles to which our founders subscribe, whether the right to life, the right to self-defense, the right to speak freely or the right to worship. These principles are as true today as they were over 200 years ago. The Commissioner of Agriculture oversees the critical foundation of Florida's economy. Agriculture is not only the backbone of nearly every county in this state, but Florida farmers and the industries that support them put food on the table for 20 million Floridians, as well as millions of others across the United States and the world. With millions of jobs that rely on leadership at the state level, it is imperative that we elect someone who will make their success a daily priority. But we can't do it without each one of you here in this room. You will be an integral part of our team. Just like our first race, we are depending on folks like you to help us get our message out to all 20 million Floridians in all 67 counties. But it's here in Southwest Florida, with the friends and the family in this room, that I'm excited to announce that I'm running to be your next Commissioner of Agriculture. Thank you for helping us kick off this grassroots campaign. God bless you, and God bless the great state of Florida.